Stanford University. I had just been made acting director of Slack National Accelerator Lab. Day four, I was sitting in my office and I got the call that we'd had a major explosion on the site. Within a few hours, we knew that no one had been seriously injured, although as we learned the extent of the explosion, someone easily could have been killed. Figuring out how to get the lab to a position where we could operate safely was gonna be critical to keeping the lab alive. We're very proud of the research that is done by the faculty and students at Stanford University. However, we also need to be aware of the risks that are associated with carrying out much of our research. As investigators, we know that we have to balance those risks against our goals. Safety is a core value of the institution because it tells us how we want to do our work. First and foremost, it takes the commitment of the principal investigator of the laboratory to run a safe lab because their value system is what gets transmitted to the students and the postdocs. The other responsibility of the principal investigator in particular is to make sure that people feel very comfortable expressing concerns about the way in which one of their colleagues may be doing the experiment and won't hesitate to ask questions. Safety in experimental starts when you conceive the experiment and start to design the experiment, build safety in from the start, execute the experiment, and then learn from the execution that there were things you could do better, keep those lessons learned, and fold them into the next experimental design. We are very fortunate that we have environmental health and safety. They are available at a moment's notice to come and help deal with a concerning situation. We do outstanding science here at Stanford. When our students go out into the world, I want them to be performing cutting-edge research, and I want them to be performing that cutting-edge research safely, and I want them to be examples for the other people in the labs they work in. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.